do you really think that customers care what you like? If you do believe that, let me give you a piece of advice and let me share something with you. They don't. Customers can care less what you or what I like. Do you know what they do care about? What it is that they want. Okay, and real quick, let me let you know something. A lot of people today, they expect to see a video and in one or two minutes, they believe that they're going to learn the brand new wow factor that's going to take them from the bottom to the top real quick. And if they see a video that's longer than three minutes, they skip through it or they X out of it. And if you're looking for that get rich quick or something fast and it's going to boom, bam, overnight, make you some success, by all means, save yourself some time, save me some time. Appreciate you stopping by, but you might as well click out now. But if you are serious and you're somebody that's sick and tired of walking over dollars to pick up dimes, you notice the inflation going on in the economy, you realize what you've been doing up to this point is not working, and you're sick and tired of being sick and tired, by all means, just suddenly in, relax and check this out. Because I assure you, you'll be able to take what I'm going to share in this video and actually use it in real life, okay? So if you believe people actually do care, they don't. It's like you watching this right now. The fact that I shared with you that I've trained over 10,000 salespeople nationwide over the last 10 years, that I've worked with some of the biggest manufacturers, Ford, Mercedes, BMW, Honda, and some of the biggest dealer groups in the country, you wouldn't care unless there's some benefit in it for you. And customers are the exact same way, especially when they're at your dealership and they're looking at something that they like. And what a lot of salespeople end up doing, the customer will say, oh, I really like this. They'll say, oh, yeah, I like it too. Or they'll say, hey, Mr. Customer, let me show you what I like. Let me show you and your significant other, your spouse, what I like. Here's what I think is that about. And guess what? Every time you use the word I, you're exiting them out because it's not about you. Now, as opposed to always telling customers what you like, or I like this, or I think that, you know what their mind is saying? It's like this. If you went to Burger King and asked the employees at Burger King, are their burgers better and healthier than the burgers at Five Guys? You know what they're going to say? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yes, I like our burgers much better. Even though when they get off work, they go straight over to Five Guys and get their food. The reason why they're going to tell you they like it is because they work there and they want to keep their job. Even if they really believe that, the perception to the customer is going to be, well, you work there, of course. You're just trying to get me to buy something. So every time we use that method with a customer, we could be reinforcing, or should I say, making them think that, of course you like it. You're trying to get a sale out, sale out of me, sleazy salesperson. Of course you like it. But there is a way for us to be able to convey how a good choice that they made, you know, how good of a choice uh, that they made or um, how much something that they like. Uh, you actually agree with, as a matter of fact, others do too. And you can use what's called the feel, felt, found method. Feel, felt, found, okay? And I'm going to explain this to you. When you use feel, felt, found, it allows you to help reinforce what it is the customer likes or a decision that the customer made without you acting like you're the one that's doing it. Because guess what? It's not coming from you. It's how others have felt. So let me explain uh, what I mean. Let's just say you're showing a customer a vehicle and they really do like the uh, the interior. Matter of fact, they really do like the way the infotainment system is set up. They love it. And they say, you know what? I really do like this infotainment center, man. And I love the color of this vehicle. You know what? I totally understand how you feel. As a matter of fact, a lot of our other customers that have looked at this same vehicle felt the exact same way. And when they found out just how easy it is for them to be able to start enjoying it right away or how simple we make it for them to go ahead and take it home with them, they were ecstatic. Whatever it is, you want to use it. But you see, I said, listen, I totally understand how you feel. Matter of fact, many of my other customers, many of our other customers that have looked at this vehicle have felt the exact same way. And when they found out either just how easy it is to get it or when they found out that it also comes with or when they found out that it can also do whatever it is now that allows you to be able to reinforce what it is that they like without seeming like you're interjecting your own personal opinion but at the same time you're letting them know that they're not alone and realize some as human beings um we all love to do things that Others have done. It's like if there's a new restaurant in the area. You ever caught yourself asking somebody, hey, man, you ate at that new Chinese place? And they say, oh, yeah, I ate there, man. It's, it's crap. 
Then you go a year later and you check it out and you try it and it's the bomb. But why, why didn't you go? Solely based off the resource that you used, you trusted it. Whether it be right or wrong, you trusted it. And so as human beings, typically, and if somebody would have said, oh man, that Chinese place up the road is great. And if you'd have went there and it sucked, you still went there. Why? Because someone else had already been there. Someone else had been the, the tester, so to speak, the guinea pig, so to speak. So in sales, as opposed to you trying to say, oh, I like this, I like that, and seeming like you're being some pushy, sleazy person, learn how to use the feel, felt, found method. Even when there's an objection, you know, they might say, oh, my goodness, I did not expect the payment that, to be that high. You know what? I totally understand how you feel. As a matter of fact, you know, I've had other customers that felt the exact same way. But when they found out that by actually investing in this vehicle saves them over the long term, they felt a lot more comfortable moving forward with it. You know, see how I use that even on an objection? They felt the price was too high. And I understand how you feel. You know, there have been others that have felt the same way. But when they found out that they can extend the terms to 72 months, that that will reduce the payment. Or when they found out that just by adding a little bit more to their initial down payment or their initial investment, it reduced their payments. Or when they found out that by adding in a, by us buying a vehicle from them or them bringing in a trade, it actually helped lower their payment. Whatever it is. But the feel, fell, found method is going to be your most effective way to help reinforce what it is that your guest is like and letting them know that they're not the only one. And also keep you from seeming like some pussy salesperson that's trying to say what you like just because, okay? This